This is Scott Allen Miller here with Sam IT, and today we're going to talk about the different problems that come with having different sizes drives in your RAID array. So people often say that RAID must have drives of the same size. This is not actually true. Uh, even in the earliest days, we could have different size uh, drives in a RAID array. The, re the problem is just that you get the capacity of the smallest one. You can't use any of the capacity that's beyond the smallest. So if you have one that's one terabyte, one that's five terabytes, one that's eight terabytes, in the end, the only thing that's useful is the one terabyte per drive. If you're doing RAID 1, that means one terabyte total. If you're doing something like RAID 5 and you have six disks of varying sizes, but the smallest is one terabyte, you're getting a total capacity of five terabytes, not 50 or whatever you purchase with those different drives. This is why people say and feel like they have to be the exactly the same size is because whatever is different is wasted. But that's never been actually a limitation. It's just reasonable to never think about mixing drive sizes because why would you? Uh, but you can in an emergency. Basically, in a situation where you need to replace a drive and you can't get one of the same size, simply find one that's the same size or larger. Must be or larger. It can't be almost the same size. It must be or larger. It's a hard requirement. Uh, that's that's perfectly fine it will work now mixing drives of different types in the same array that are different they're near in size still has problems because uh, you want all of your drives to work in sync when you have mixed types of drives what you end up with is a bunch of different performance characteristics at different times different drives will be reading from their inner uh, cylinders their outer cylinders they will have different general performance char characteristics different seek speeds uh, maybe different spindle speeds all kinds of things uh, that may seem trivial and they're not dramatically bad but when you're trying to get a cost-effective high performance array and you start mixing things what happens is at any given operation it's not just that you go to the speed of the slowest drive it's that you do the slowest operation at any given moment so if you're doing a seek every drive needs to wait for the slowest seek of the bunch if you're waiting to read something off a cylinder you're waiting for the slowest cylinder of the bunch and these things add up as each operation may gain 5 or 10 or 20% overhead that as an individual drive may be completely the same speed as another because they're just a little bit different. They're different. They're fast and slow at different times and it adds up to the same. But when you put them together in a RAID array and take the slowest in any given operation, those things become cumulative problems rather than ones that just kind of work themselves out. So we want to avoid that whenever possible. And of course, by doing so, it increases wear and tear. Drives need to spin more, spindles need to, to just work harder because they're waiting on each other and everything's a little bit less efficient. This increases wear and tear just a little. So we don't want to do it for uh, reliability reasons. We don't want to do it for capacity reasons because we'll only get the, the capacity of the absolute smallest one. And we don't want to do it for performance reasons. It's just not beneficial. When we need to, it will work, but if we can avoid it, it's best to. And that's why people say you have to have matching drives. You don't but you might as well. Try to do it whenever you can, it's worth it. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. I'm glad you're here joining the RAID uh, series, which is going to be continuing. We have a lot of RAID to talk about, a lot of topics to cover, uh, because RAID is complex and important. And uh, we're gonna be putting a link for Patreon below. If you wanna sponsor us here, feel free.